In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who govern all things both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Samuel. David returned from his defeat of the Amalekites and spent two days in Ziklag. On the third day, a man came from Saul's camp with his clothes torn and dirt on his head. Going to David, he fell to the ground in homage. David asked him, where do you come from? He replied, I have escaped from the camp of the children of Israel. Tell me what happened, David bade him. He answered that many of the soldiers had fled the battle and that many of them had fallen and were dead, among them Saul and his son Jonathan. David seized his garments and rent them, and all the men who were with him did likewise. They mourned and wept and fasted until evening for Saul and his son Jonathan and for the soldiers of the Lord of the clans of Israel, because they had fallen by the sword. Alas, the glory of Israel, Saul, slain upon your heights. How can the warriors have fallen? Saul and Jonathan, beloved and cherished, separated neither in life nor in death, swifter than eagles, stronger than lions. Women of Israel, weep over Saul, who clothed you in scarlet and in finery, who decked your attire with ornaments of gold. How can the warriors have fallen in the thick of the battle, slain upon your heights? I grieve for you, Jonathan, my brother. Most dear have you been to me. More precious have I held love for you than love for women. How can the warriors have fallen? The weapons of war have perished. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us see your face, Lord, and we shall be saved. Let us see your face, Lord, and we shall be saved. O shepherd of Israel, hearken, O guide of the flock of Joseph. From your throne upon the cherubim, shine forth before Ephraim, Benjamin, and Manasseh. Rouse your power and come to save us. Let us see your face, Lord, and we shall be saved. O Lord of hosts, how long will you burn with anger while your people pray? You have fed them with the bread of tears and given them tears to drink in ample measure. You have left us to be fought over by our neighbors and our enemies mock us. Let us see your face, Lord, and we shall be saved. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came with his disciples into the house. Again, the crowd gathered, making it impossible for them even to eat. When his relatives heard of this, they set out to seize him, for they said, he is out of his mind. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
In the Gospel of Mark, it's evident that during his public ministry, many people didn't understand Jesus. One question they often came up was, who then is this? In today's short Gospel reading, we see that even Jesus' relatives didn't understand him or what he was doing. When Jesus was too busy to eat, his relatives tried to take control of him, thinking, in their words, he was out of his mind. However, Jesus would not let his family control him. Jesus was doing God, his Father's work. And part of that work was to form a new family, a family of disciples, brothers and sisters of Jesus, and children of the Father. Jesus' own natural family had to accept this. We are all members of this new family, the result of Jesus' work. But just like the people in Jesus' time, we may struggle to understand who he is and what he has done. We continue to ask the question, who then is this? As we strive to know the Son of God more fully, whose brothers and sisters we have become. In light of today's gospel passage, we call to mind all those on whom, like Jesus, great demands are made. For the whole community of the church, that we may always seek to serve the Lord and not our own worldly interests, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for all Christians, that they may seek the kingdom of God before all other things, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for those who are rich in this world's wealth, that they may share their fortunes with the poor and downtrodden, and that they may seek the real treasure of heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for those who are poor, that they may experience the providence of God through the good works and charity of their neighbors, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that our Blessed Mother may inspire young people to follow the Lord in service to the church as priests, deacons, religious sisters and brothers, and lay ministers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for those who have died and gone before us, marked with the sign of faith, a special way today, we pray for the repose of the soul of Brian Corey. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those confined to their homes due to age or illness, for those in nursing facilities or hospitals, for those who care for them, and for all those intentions we now offer from the silence of our hearts. For these we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God and Father, we offer you our prayers for all those in need. May your love come upon them and may they experience your saving help through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries, for whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, 
always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. On you stay, qui toles peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, 
Qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For those who cannot now receive Jesus in the blessed sacrament, we offer the following prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Pour on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those who have nourished by this one heavenly bread, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.